What's up everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we will talking about what is configuration management and its tools. Let's learn now what is configuration management. Configuration means defining a system's desired state, like server configuration. For example, when you go to buy any machine that is computer which can be desktop or laptop first thing we check is what's its configuration that is how much RAM it has, which processor it has whether it's i3, i5 or i7, how much CPU memory it has, how much capacity it is whether it 500 gigabytes or 1 terabyte and many other things we check before buying computer. Management as the term suggested means managing the machine by making sure it is properly updated with latest software patches. For example, when you buy laptop or desktop and install Windows operating system you have installed software on it, in order to make your machine is running properly. For example Microsoft pushes the regular updates which can involve fixing of Windows security patch or firewall patch or any other Windows patch which will make your system running up properly and up to date. There are two types of configuration in DevOps world existing. One push configuration. Two pull configuration. Let's study this configuration in detail to understand what each one does and which tool uses which configuration. Push based management configuration tool. In this type of configuration management tool, the main server, where the configuration data is stored, pushes the configuration to the node, hence, the name. So, it is the main server that initiates communication, not the nodes. Which means that an agent slash client may or may not be installed on each node. Ansible is an example of a push-based configuration management tool that doesn't need an agent to be installed on the nodes. Salt Stack is an example of all based configuration management. A small software, called agent or client, is installed on every node means server. This agent slash client will 1. Dot at regular intervals, get the configuration from the server. 2. Dot compare the configuration received from the server with the current configuration of the node. 3. Dot if there is any mismatch, take the steps required to match the configuration of the node with the configuration received from the server. This means that it's always the agent slash client that initiates communication, not the main server. Which one to choose among two pull or push configuration management tool? Remember, both types of configuration management tools can do it all. So, the following comparison is based on the default features. Push-based configuration management has its advantages. 1. Control over the entire system. 2. Simpler to use. Pull-based configuration management has its advantages. 1. Easier to bootstrap new nodes. 2. Easier scalability. Hope this video gave an idea to you as what is configure tan management and its tools. If you like this video kindly give thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until then bye bye and take care of yourself. Keep learning and helping others.